and, uh, and really showing the customers that not only have simple automation on a simple machine, but simple automation on a very complex machine. How many of you out there like Legos? Did you play with Legos as a kid? As an adult, there's even a show about Legos. I watch it, I know you do too. However, in manufacturing, we're trying to be Legoistic, is that a, it's not a word. I'm gonna to try to invent the word. However, what we're talking about today, you may notice this load and go cell behind me, the automation. We've talked about it with Tim before. We've talked about it with Ari and Gossiger before. We've talked about the ability to put it into your shop without too much complication, even if you're just, yep, tiptoeing into that water to get into automation. However, you notice this gorgeous Akuma machine behind me, a bit more complicated. So what we're trying to showcase with Tim here today is that we can can take, much like Legos, if you recognize that bad dad joke at the beginning, much like Legos, systems on entry level machines, more complicated machines, so on and so forth. I have talked too much already. Let's get Tim talking since he's the expert. He knows what's going on. Tim, we're now standing in front of, which is something very familiar. Yep. Well, all of it's familiar to you, let's that's be right. honest. Yep. But something to me that's familiar and now we're standing in front of this Multis machine yep. with the spindle head, turning, milling, a little bit of everything. Yep. Why are we standing here and having this conversation? Well, it's a follow up to the one we just had across the street. So that's we right. looked at a very simple two axis lathe had the same drawer system as this one but I thought it would be really good to see a more complex lathe you know one that's making a part like this where we're doing uh, heavy milling we're doing uh, turning combining a lot of different processes doing some engraving all with the Gibbs system and the Sandvik tooling and uh, and really showing the customers that not only have simple automation on a simple machine but simple automation on a very complex machine very well put so what we're saying is, yes, we can do entry level everything if necessary. If yep. That's part of building that confidence that our customers right. need. However, don't just think it's just for that. That's right. We can actually put this on a different units all over the place yep. when it comes to Akuma. That's what we're trying to convey yeah. here. As you mentioned, it's building blocks, right? So you're trying to overcome either fears that you might have or challenges and opportunity that you have in machining. Yeah, I would make the discussion that this part with its simplicity, ease of use, flexibility, easy adaptation would be more about overcoming a fear. Yep. But once you get there, it's going to be able to really be efficient and produce parts. That's Whereas right. this would be, I'm already out of that fear zone. I'm learning, That's I'm right. making parts. But I hope you guys have all learned something here today. Just so you know, just to reiterate, having Tim on camera is very important to emphasize. We can get into your shops, whether you're starting on automation, whether you're in automation already and you want to adapt it to one of your existing machines. All of this is possible through the Akuma family. We're here at Gossiger today through the Gossiger family as well. So reach out anytime. Reach out to Tim. That's a nice squealing. I like it. So mm, I love machining. All right. I'm out of here, Tim. Let's get out of here, buddy.